Welcome, animation fans. I am Mason with the Rotoscopers YouTube, and this is my flip through with commentary of the new art book from Disney, The Art of Planes. Strap yourselves in, there's major turbulence ahead. That was really cheesy, I apologize. But you know, it kind of fits the theme, doesn't it? I mean, I found Planes uh, to be really cheesy. It kind of drifted between a kid's movie and a family movie, and it didn't seem to really commit to either side, you know what I mean? And as I'm sure you know, a lot of animation fans dismiss the film as garbage for whatever reasons. I'll admit Planes wasn't my favorite animated film, but I won't argue about the superb design and the visuals of the film. They were beautiful. The production crew clearly did their research, and they worked hard in their quest to make an authentic animated film about planes. I'm not talking about, you know, freaking JJ the jet plane. I'm talking about making a film about talking airplanes and making it work design-wise. Everything from the environments to the way the characters moved to the script uh, was extremely well designed. And by script, I mean uh, dialogue, not necessarily overall story. And that excellent design quality is displayed right here in the book, The Art of Planes. If you, if you like a real behind the scenes experience with your art books, then I recommend The Art of Planes. Not only will you find some beautiful concept art, but you'll find preliminary sketches, reference photos, uh, technical drawings, layout and architecture designs, uh, high definition CG renders, prop designs, no pun intended, <laughs> and uh, color scripts. If you're interested in previs, you know, pre-visualization, concept art, or any of that pre-production process, this book, The Art of Planes, is a goldmine. Now, some other fun features are character profiles chock full of concept design, uh, including early content that was cut from the final film. So if you want to see all the different paint jobs and all the different looks that they were going to go uh, with, for each character, you know, Dusty and um, you know, Rip Slinger, you know, Chupacabra, <laughs> then you get to see all of that in these character profiles. And for each character profile, you can see ample commentary and explanatory notes from the production crew explaining all of their design choices. And that's key. But the book's annotations could be its greatest strength or its greatest weakness, depending on how you look at it. If you like learning about the creative process behind a character or environment or sequence, you'll get a ton of information from reading the text. It does come at a price, however, because when you have a lot of annotation, a lot of text like that, then you do have to sacrifice page space that could be used for the actual images that you're explaining. So some of the pictures are smaller than I'd like in print, but you still have plenty of those full page or nearly full page images. At the end of the book, you'll be treated to some of the art of Planes 2, Fire and Rescue. I really enjoyed it because uh, I haven't seen the film, but the look of the sequel is amazing, just looking at the previews. But I especially liked this little section um, from the book. And they also show some technical stuff about how they did the smoke and fire visual effects. So thanks for watching my flip through. Honestly, this is a great art book with a ton of content, lots of explanation, lots of information to just kind of sponge up if you're a Disney fan. If you didn't like the film, you know, at least check out the art book because I believe production wise, Planes was pretty masterful considering it was made by Disney Toon Studios. So be sure to like this video and subscribe to the Rotoscopers on YouTube so you can watch even more reviews. Until next time, I'm Mason on the Rotoscopers YouTube. But peace, Zewala, and hopefully win back Maria. Also, there's this new conflict about being in the land of the remembered. Because we see in the trailer that things are pretty cool in the land of the remembered. Manolo's got all his family and, and, and some friends around him. You know, there's, there's lots of food, lots of partying, not to mention... All you can eat, true.